Hello everyone, my name is Master of Roughness and welcome to Battlefield Gothic Armada. Today we'll be continuing our Eldar coverage. We're going to look at one of the favors for the Eldar, the Baltan favor. I've put this on my cruiser and essentially what it does is it gives us the Avatar of Cain, which replaces the Lightning Strike. And then we have Aspect Warriors, which increase my troop value by about 20. Now that I've gotten this favor, I now think the Master Gunner... Uh, crew points were actually a very stupid idea, and I probably should have gotten some crew points into Blade Sworn, seeing as though I want to increase my troop value, obviously. Oh well. In any case, let's jump right into it. I do like the green look of the Belton uh, cruiser. It looks nice. Alright, so we got a convoy mission where I'm the defender versing off against the Imperial Navy. This should be easy as I can outrun the Imperial Navy, but let's see what happens. Now, I don't want to use the Alatok vessel or the Altioc vessel, however Google Translate told me how to pronounce it, because one, the Pathfinder Webway Assault is not going to be ready in time, and two, because I didn't get the upgrade for my Prow Pulsars yet, so because of that, I'm not getting the range upgrade that I need in order to actually make use of that, invisib uh, that camouflage trait, because if I'm at 6,000 range, I'm still really really close to the imperial uh, naval ships that can go to 6,000 easy if they have prow lancers and uh, macro cannons with the upgrades I need 9,000 at least so let's just get the the wolf way get the maelstrom that sort of stuff all right let's go Ooh, that looks good holy shit Holy ship, actually. I always say transport missions. Oh, well, at least they look kind of cool, actually. They actually do look really cool. So with the Eldar out, Space Marines confirmed, and the votes for the next faction coming in, we will soon see a total of six factions for Battlefleet Gothic. That's actually pretty cool. I wonder if they'll go even more. That would be ideal, I'm gonna be honest. I like six fa uh, more than six factions. I like the entirety of the Warhammer 40k tabletop game to be represented in this RTS. But that could be difficult due to balance and monetary constraints and all that. Mm. All we have to do is skirt past them and then that we're good. See, the thing is about the Eldar is that you have to get close in order to use your weapons as you don't have a lot of long-range tools at the start, but then you can upgrade them. But our hollow fields make us pretty tanky, so that's good. And we are fast, oh, I'll say that much. Look at this. Oh shit, I couldn't avoid that, wow. No, I can't. We're good. Those are our escort vessels. Alright, we don't have to worry too much. Am I gonna hit that escort? I am. I did quite a bit of damage. Oh my god. It was not ideal, actually. Whoa. This dude has lots of escorts. Or this AI rider, because it is just the AI. This was the orcs. I'd be a little bit worried. There we go. Oh, it's a cruiser. Here, let me just do that. And I just want to kind of get our torpedoes ready. Oh, yeah. And obviously do this. Ooh. That's actually really good. We were able to take out the generators. That's not something that you would want to happen to his uh, ship, which is, it's nice, it's nice. I don't know why the AI actually is also using the cruiser. That's the dumbest thing I've seen. Kayla Mensha Kane. Who is Kayla Mensha Kane, actually? You know, for someone who binge watches Vault of Terror lore, I do, I did not read up much on 
the Eldar. Granted, I never really liked the Eldar lore. I was too into my spooky, scary Necrons. Keep speeding up. That's all you need to do. Hey, you see, this is going to be a joke of a, of a mission. I can just outrun the Imperium of Man. It's only one cruiser. I suppose this Imperial Navy dude, this AI rider, he fucked himself with his tactics. If I got the Altioc guy, I probably would have been fucked. I was reading a comment on one of my earlier videos, and it seems as though Eldar are, in my opinion, from what I've been able to figure from that comment, and also from my experience on their tactics and technologies that if you spam out the hollow fields thing you can really fuck over someone with relative e a relative ease i don't know i think the hollow field upgrade should be lessened to like 80 percent or 70 percent because if you just run around you have 90 percent of the shots are going to be absorbed and i don't know if that's fair Wow, that's nice. That's nice. Kane's blessing, we were able to kick some glorious butt. Ooh! Spicy. Love that green Hulk skin. and It's nice. So what level are we? We are level close to level 4. Close. So I think I'm going to grind out a little bit more. And then once I get to level 5, a.k.a. Oh, should I do reconditioning? Ugh. Why not? Yeah, we'll do reconditioning. Get three of these, yeah. Hurt, but I think it's worth it. So, yeah, I'm thinking that because the next ship we get will be a battle cruiser, but it'll be once we reach level 5, I'll probably just do some grinding until... We get to level 5, then I'll do a video on the battle cruiser, and then afterwards will be a video on the battleship, and that will be it for our Eldar coverage for today. See you guys next time, bye-bye.